Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. Our text today is a commentary on the Book of Psalms by Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch. Rabbi Hirsch was one of the founders of Neo-Orthodoxy, which is eventually one of the tributaries into modern orthodoxy. He was born in Germany in 1808 and dies in Germany in 1888. And after an initial career as a rabbi in different parts of the European continent, including the chief rabbi of Moravia, he was invited to Frankfurt to be the rabbi of the Orthodox congregation that had split away from the mainstream congregation. I spoke a few weeks ago about this concept of Auschwitz versus Gemeinde Orthodoxy. The Gemeinde Orthodox were willing to be part of a cross-communal organization, which included non-Orthodox Jews as well, with their own Orthodox synagogue. And Rav Hirsch was invited to be the rabbi of the group that wanted to split away and be entirely independent. In addition to his uh, political activities in the Jewish community, fighting for Orthodox independence, he was also an extensive writer and commentator on different parts of the Bible, including the Book of Psalms. And in the 20th century, as German Jews came to the United States in particular, a lot of effort was put into translating his works into English. And this is one of the products of that translation exercise. Rav Hirsch was not a Zionist. He was very committed to the strength of Jewish life in the diaspora, and he didn't want to hasten the return to Israel until the coming of the Messiah. He really believes in the mission of the Jewish people in the diaspora to bring the whole of humanity closer to God. And that is brought out in this comment on Psalm 126, which we sing on Shabbat and Yom Tov and other occasions before we recite Birkat Mazon, the great after meals. This psalm talks about Israel's exile and their eventual redemption and contains the line, Hazorim bedima barina iksaru, those who sow in tears will reap in exultation. So this is what Rav Hirsch has to say about that line. We will have sowed in tears but reaped in exultation. When the Lord sent his people into exile among the nations, he changed Israel to Yisrael, the victors of God into the sowers of God. Israel was to disseminate the seeds of truth concerning God and the destiny of mankind into the fields of mankind's future. And Israel has fulfilled this vocation as God's sower through the divine book which nations everywhere have accepted from its hands, as well as through the living commentary which it has given to the doctrine taught in this book by virtue of its conduct in private and public life alike. So the purpose of our presence in exile for Rav Hirsch is a very significant one. We have given the Torah, the Bible, to the nations of the world, and through our behavior we've shown how to live a life in accordance with divine values. That is the enormous and ongoing purpose of our time in exile, not just a time for weeping, but also very much a time for sowing. Thanks for joining.